said that right, six. Absolutely astronomical. I'm celebrating. Oh. I'm now slowly getting into it. So I'm not really sure what to expect. Mr. McGregor's garden. I am just packing up to leave. Oh, I feel really sorry for them. I think they honestly look pretty good. Questions about my Botox that I had. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. It's Monday and I am hiding currently in the bathroom. Uh, I'm looking after my sister's children this week, so I currently have six children. Yes, you heard that right, six. I'm currently down south, I'm staying at my sister's house, which is great because it's bigger than ours and the garden is amazing. However, the weather is just miserable, like really miserable, not very nice at all. And when the weather is miserable, all I ever seem to hear is, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. So I have just been on Amazon looking for things to do. I've just ordered a crochet kit. My mum lives next door basically, and she's gonna try and teach them to do some crochet, the girls. And then I've ordered a marbling kit. I'm just trying to think of crafty things that we could do at home. We've done baking already today. We've been out in the rain looking for insects. They're currently on the trampoline, I think in the rain. Um, we're about to go out for a walk probably in the rain. I wish that we had some sort of holiday home to go to. I feel grateful when we were little, my granddad had a tiny little flat in Spain and we always used to go for pretty much all the summer holidays. And I now look back and I think, oh my gosh, how lucky were we? All we would do was go to the pool every day, go to the beach or do whatever, but it was just amazing to be able to get away to some heat and oh, the holiday. And we used to just love it. We had the best summers ever. And I just feel like every time I go out at the moment, it's a hundred pounds here, a hundred pounds there. And I'm just like, I don't want to do all these activities and spend all this money doing all these trips. So I've had to really limit myself. Last week we did two different trips. I balanced the tripod, it's so dodgy. Uh, one of it was strawberry picking, which was actually raspberry picking, which was absolutely astronomical. I'm really silly because I just like, oh yeah, fill up your buckets, kids, fill them up. Let's spend time here. You know, that'll kill a few hours. And I can't even tell you how much it was because it made me feel physically sick. So we now currently have a whole freezer full of raspberries. So that basically culled anything else that we were going to do that week. This week, my sister has booked a tennis lesson, so they are going to go, I think tomorrow, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, as well, I mean Thursday as well, I'm not sure, and go and do some tennis lessons in the morning, which is great, because that will fill a couple of hours, and I think for somebody like Rafferty, who loves sport, hopefully he's going to really enjoy it, I think the girls maybe not so much. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. I am uh, going to show you an unboxing in a minute. I've just unboxed a load of beautiful stuff from Hobbs. Um, those of you that follow me for a while will know that I absolutely love Hobbs as a brand. This is one of their dresses, which is from the limited collection, which is on the website now. And I've just put it on, it just feels amazing. I will show you the full length in a minute so you can see it, but I've been sent some really beautiful things. So I think we might go up to a little island and take some photos, uh, Phoebe and myself. And then we might take all the others for the walk. Hopefully the sun's going to come out. I, did, I keep checking this app, which basically says miserable or weak. But I'm determined that the sun is hopefully going to come through so we can get some nice shots. I have a new necklace on. I don't know if you can see it there. Let me try and focus. There we are. It's from Nice Cream London. So it's a hydrangea necklace. I'll try and put a link to it below so you can actually see it on the website. This is a relatively new brand to me. Uh, I found them through Instagram um, and it's a lady who seems to own the company who happened to actually be at the Holland Cooper event and I didn't realise it was her until afterwards because I would have gone and spoken to her. She's incredibly beautiful, this lady. Anyway, she, she was there and uh, she's got this and then she's got some earrings that match that I really want to get because I think that they would just be perfect uh, as a set. It's a really pretty necklace and so far I've had loads of compliments from people when I've been wearing it. I absolutely love it. 
it's just so pretty also what i like is it's not on a chain and i find that often when i wear necklaces like this they twist around and move but this is attached so it's it's almost two two separate attachments on each side anyway it's so lovely i'm really pleased so i'm going to try and get the earrings i think to go with it except they're sold out so uh, I think you have to kind of go on a waiting list. I'll have to go and look into it. But I wanted to show you this new brand because it's also not um, very expensive. It's just a really nice brand. It's also not too cheap, which made you think it's hopefully good quality. Um, anyway, so I'm really pleased with that. Let me show you some of the clothes now. I have on the dress so you can see it in full. I've also got on some beautiful heels. So do you want to go, these clothes filming for me, do you want to go close on the heels so you can see those? There we go really nice absolutely love sling back shoes like that so it's lined it goes all the way down pretty much to my ankles obviously remembering i am short i'm five foot two it's got the v-neck here and then it cuts under the bust here which is really nice and flattering and um, it's got sleeves that have got a tiny puff not too much and then this kind of gathering of material around here do you want to focus in on that can you see that please there we go, so you can see. Uh, but I think this is absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. What do you think, Phoebe? Yes, nice. Nice, yeah? <laughs> You're not sure? She's not sure. What do you think? I'll put a link to it below so you can find it. I'm just going to try on some other outfits now. Um, I'm also going to show you this belt, uh, if I pop that down there. So this is a Fairfax and Faber belt which has just been sent to me along with a bag, which I might show you tomorrow now. We're running out of time, aren't we? With the sunshine, is it actually coming? So it's obviously got the Fairfax and Favour detail on the front there. And then this kind of detail that runs all the way along the belt. Um, so this is part of a campaign that I'm working on with them over on Instagram. Um, so I will try and get some shots of it on me over there, but I'm going to put it on now with these jeans. So I've just put on this new blouse and these are new jeans from Hobbs as well. They're cropped, so I think if you were taller, I think they would have more of an effect of being cropped, but I actually really like them. I think even with trainers, they would work well. I've put them on with those red heels and then I've tucked the blouse in. It's quite a long blouse, so you could wear it out, but I put it on so you can see the belt here. Can you see that belt, V? Mm. Yeah. And then I'm just going to put a jacket on now. Um, so I've just put this jacket on. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the detail on the arms. It feels really nice. It's so very soft, really lovely. So it's kind of got a blue, a black, a white, green, I'd say. Green, do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Anyway, so I've put it on like that. I've obviously pulled up my sleeves. Um, my thinnest part of my body is obviously my ankles and my wrists. So I try to have those on show when I can. So this is a great outfit actually. I've got my ankles out and I've got my wrists out. So I've put it on here with the jeans. I think I'd probably wear uh, a more neutral colour shoe, not these red ones, if I was going to wear it out. But I haven't got much choice I don't think with me. Let's have a look. Um, so I'm now going to put this on, which Phoebe says is not to her taste. It looks like a granny. It's called a granny jacket. Belford jacket is what it's called. Now, I really like it, and I think because it's kind of got this kind of reddy. Did you say that's red? What colour does it say? It says camel ivory. Is it red? No. No. I think it will go with my red shoes. Oh, she's pulling her face. No? No. No? Well, what about. I haven't got much choice here. What more, more of my clothes, shouldn't I? So, put the jacket on now. Oh, I'm falling off. <laughs> We'll just carry on. Um, so I've got the jacket on. I really like it, even though apparently I do look like a granny. Do I still look like a granny? It looks better when you get it on. You look like one of those airport ladies. Oh. You go through with the trolley. <laughs> An air stewardess? Yeah. What do you think so? Um, I don't think I'd be very good at that. I'm too short as well. Right, so I'm just going to do up the button so you can see it done up. What I like is it's quite short. I can't really wear long jackets because it just doesn't work with my body shape. And because I'm quite small, I have to have them quite cropped. So it's actually, I think that works. If I pull up the sleeves, no? She's pulling her face. <laughs> no, if I open it up then. I think that looks just really smart. Mm. No? 
coat shape. No, that's fine. I don't like it. You really don't like it? Okay. I prefer cool. your other one. I've got one more coat to show you. So, I now have on a short trench coat, which I really love. I think it's really nice. Phoebe just said, you've got one of those. I said, I haven't. Because all my trench coats go to different lengths. So, I've got maybe one to here, one down to the ground. And what I find really hard is when I'm wearing dresses, it just doesn't work because my trench coat tends to be shorter than my dresses and then I don't know what to wear with my dresses. And I'm hoping this might be a I'm going to show you it with it open. I love the poppers. So I could just wear it kind of casually like this. I really like it. It's like a really lovely mat. It's lovely. You're laughing at me. Right, we're going to go now and do a photo shoot, aren't we, Fee? You ready? Yep. Let's go. Oh gosh, it's bright. I can't even see the screen. I don't know if this is recording. Um, I'm just out. I've got my fake Prosecco, my shoes, which I can't walk in at all over this grass. Oh, glass is falling off. I'm just um, photographing outside now. We're going to go to like a pool area and hopefully get some shots there. We've just been out like on the river doing some shots and guess what the sun's come out. I couldn't be happier. This blue sky, a tiny bit. Oh, a little bit of a breeze. Um, so I've got the dress back on. I've just been taking photos inside with the suit jacket and the other little button jacket that I love, which Phoebe wasn't so sure about. And now I've got this dress back on, or I've got the tag on, I need to move that, and go and take some photos. I haven't taken the tag off, oops. Oh, hold on, we're going down the steps. Anyway, really love this dress, beautiful really pretty so I'm just going to try and do some photos now in this kind of area near the pool if I can I'm not sure how it's going to work let's just climb through these trees hold on oh, oh, oh. we're here uh, right my photographer's ready are you ready should I stand on the on the diving board oh dear she's getting very annoyed at me it's quite bright here isn't it, it might be too bright what do you think not sure. Maybe I should sort of stand near the diving board. Oh, shade. Or near that yellow kind of flower over there. Quite like the magical lamppost. What do you think? I'm worried that might break. Don't go in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to walk along like this. Yeah? Yeah. So we're just waiting for the shade to come, go in. The sun to come over. The, the sun, the cloud to go over the sun so that we have a bit of a shadow because it's too bright now um then we're going to do some photos i think what do you think by the lamppost or flora's over there we're just going to go find her did you get some blackberries do they taste nice good morning can you see there's a bit of blue sky i'm celebrating oh all that blue sky gosh what um dreadful weather but the sun came out yesterday afternoon and look it's out this morning so let's hope it's here to stay it is the first of august and let's face it july has been a washout i think a complete and utter washout so i'm hoping august is going to be better because i've got about five weeks till they go back to school and it's so much better when it's sunny so they can play outside oh look somebody's off on holiday up there oh i wish i was on holiday oh how lucky are they going oh i forget because we go away right at the beginning of the summer i always need to change it and put it at the end so we've got something to look forward to anyway we've had our lovely holiday and we are still down south we're here pretty much most of the summer i would say oh it's a bit overcrowded here i have to cut through i am out on my walk this morning i'm going to do a half an hour speed walk and try and get as much steps as i can in this morning as my big sister is arriving later and i'm so excited to see her gosh this tree up here is making a lot of windy noise can you see that not that windy obviously it was up there so i'm one of five i've got five brothers and sisters but we're all over the country and so it's very rare that we can all get together so it's really nice that she's coming down she lives in norfolk this one um so i can't wait to see her It 
it's eight o'clock in the morning and they are outside on the trampoline already. Thank goodness for sunshine, hey? tennis um i managed to sit and do a tiny bit of work not really but it was very good and i think it was really good for them to be doing something active um hopefully it's warm out a bit i hope so so they've got tomorrow tennis and thursday tennis um so this was an old friend of ours who is actually a tennis coach and he coaches kids all the time so he was really good with them which was great i am about to go and write my blog post for the month of August because it's obviously the 1st of August and it should have gone out today it hasn't gone out yet because I'm still writing it so I'm just going to finish doing that it's over on my website if you're interested at all I've been working hard on trying to get all my affiliate links linked up to my website and uh, my blog and all my YouTube and everything I do basically I I've never really understood affiliate links and I'm now slowly getting into it and understanding it a little bit more anyway so I've got on a necklace here can you see this this is a Hobbs one so it's it could be long or short on the model they actually had it short doubled over like this and I actually really like it uh, these are the earrings that go with it if you can see those they're really sweet, really, really nice. Um, they go with everything. Um, so I've put this on today just with my pink dress. So this is a phase eight shirt dress. I love the pink color, really easy to wear linen. Um, normally I roll up the sleeves, I've not done that today. My hair is totally falling out. I have just ordered some new hairspray. Hairspray that I've used before, but it's a new, it's not new, no, it's a new pro new bottle, is what I'm going to say. So when I get that, it should arrive today with Amazon, then I'm going to try and style my hair again, because I'm fed up with these curls just falling out. So I'm going to try that and see if that does anything. But for now, I need to get on with this blog post before my sister arrives. And then I think we're going to head out this afternoon, hopefully with her. If the weather cheers up, come on, it's freezing. I'm actually going to get under my duvet now to write this blog post. We've just come out for a walk and we are blackberry picking. We're a bit early. However, I'm sure they're not usually out at this time. I'm sure they're out like September or late August, but there is loads all the way along here. Loads and oh my gosh, there's loads. morning you won't believe me if I just told you that it was absolutely pouring about half an hour ago you can see the puddles over there but the horses are out there they are this is possibly one of my favorite views ever I love those horses they just sort of gallop around it's beautiful yeah it's sunny I was going to complain about the weather well I can't now because there is some sun oh but it's quite bright oh uh, I'm just going to go and find my big sister I think she is next door at my parents house I'm gonna go and find her and have some coffee I think my brother's coming so we're all gonna do a big catch-up oh I am tired this morning Ugh. 
Hi, um, we've just gone out on a really rainy walk, but we're back now. I'm gonna head out for some lunch soon, but I wanted to show you this new bag. I might take this with me actually. Um, so it's just arrived from Fairfax and Faber. Let me get that in. They, in focus, can you see that? Yeah, hopefully. This is like their basket bag. So it comes in two sizes. It's a larger one. It's really lovely. It, all their products are always lovely. They're just stunning. Very great quality. Just, oh, they feel amazing. Oh, look, it's got little studs on the bottom. So it's kind of like an oval shape. Um, it's got the clasp detail here. So this magnetically shuts like this, which is really good, especially for people like me that forget to zip up things or do up things. This is just closes it's great it's got the two handles at the top here but it also has a strap which is super helpful so you could take the strap off if you wanted to or keep it on um, I've just got it on for now and then inside it's still stuffed with all the stuffing let me just get rid of some of that so you can see and then inside uh, you've got a pocket like that sits like this so it's kind of stuck on with little buttons here and then it's got the zip with a little compartment in here and a sort of chain thing here that you could then put your keys on if you wanted to, which would be really such a good idea. I don't know why I don't ever do that because they have that in most of their bags. It feels amazing. It just, the quality is so nice. I love all their products. And it's such a privilege to be able to work with such a great like brand. They have beautiful boots in winter that I love wearing and they've just brought out lots of different ranges of clothes as well so there's this beautiful rain mac that they're just bringing out for autumn winter so they've got really good range of different things if you're into anything like this I suggest you go and look on their website or have a look on my link below and it will take you straight to how to buy this bag it's beautiful in fact I'm going to take this for lunch yeah I'm going to pack it up and take it because it's just so lovely. Uh, it'll be its first outing out today and I cannot wait to use it. It's so nice. what it's raining what a surprise i'm just going to go and get the car because they're all they've all just basically been playing in the rain they're all absolutely soaking so i said i'd walk to go and get the car we had a really lovely lunch and i'm very excited my niece is in labor now so we're very excited to have a new baby in the family and i've got a new bag which i really don't want to get wet we're going to head back now and tonight oh i'm a bit worried about how to get through this mud okay i'm actually completely soaking i've got these trousers that are far too long and i'm soaked yeah so we've got a we're going to see the barbie movie tonight i've been wanting to see this for ages and i've heard massive mixed reviews on it uh, some people love it and some people think it's awful so i'm not really sure what to expect i kind of want to see it with my husband and he's really not keen so i'm gonna go and see it with all my sisters and the girls i need to find something pink to wear obviously and yeah, can't wait for that. It's gonna be hopefully good. I haven't been to the cinema for so long. I actually don't know when I last went to the cinema. So we've booked it. There's hardly any spaces as well. Uh, people are actually go to the cinema. Where's my car? Oh my gosh, I am so wet. There must be a rainbow coming though, because there is definitely sun up here. Anyway, we're heading back now um, to go and have an early tea for the children, get them all ready so that we can disappear and leave them with the grandparents.
have just arrived at a little nursery and we are coming here to watch the performance of Peter Rabbit. I think my eldest might be a little bit too old for it, but we're gonna go with it. So we've got some little ones with us and I love the story of Peter Rabbit. It's one of my favorites. So I'm hoping this is gonna be really good. I love doing these sorts of things. Um, we're hoping that the weather is going to be okay. At the moment we've got can you see that mixture, basically grey? I can see some blue, I promise you. Um, so I'm hoping it's not gonna pour on us. Apparently it just continues if it rains. So I'm thinking, oh. uh, And it literally is outside. So luckily we're in a kind of courtyard garden. So it's not too windy. So hopefully we'll be okay, fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll try and do some videos to show you what it's like. They do do lots of performances here over the summer. And this is obviously a special one, Peter Rabbit. I know, I'll climb over it. That'll be as easy as anything. Good evening, I've escaped um, the chaos and I have come out for an evening walk. The sun is sort of out, I'm not sure if you can count it, but it's quite warm, which is good. I'm not complaining, I'm in a t-shirt. And I'm just going to do my evening walk down by the river. It's such a pretty walk, this. And then I'm going to head home. I'm cooking dinner for my sister tonight. She is finishing work late and coming down from London another sister this is um and we're gonna have dinner together so i'm just gonna make lots of different salads i think even though it's not doesn't feel like summer uh, i'm trying to do summer salads so i've done a watermelon and feta with mint and a bit of cucumber got a lentil salad um i've got a pasta with pesto salad and i have a mushroom creamy thing with croutons that i've made so i'm gonna try all that I am just packing up to leave. I'm heading up to Yorkshire uh, now, and my lovely sister is looking after my children. I'm escaping. I had hers last weekend, so she has got mine for a little bit longer than one night. But I'm escaping. I'm going up to a 40th. Oh, um, look, I've just really <laughs> put a lipstick on my face. There we is it gone now? I was rushing. I'm really rushing. I'm rushing to go and catch a train now. I've got to head to London, through London, out the other side, up to Yorkshire. Wait for my husband to finish work to pick me up. And then um, we're getting ready to go to a 40th tomorrow. Uh, we've got a jam-packed day though tomorrow, so I'll take you with me for that. But for now, I'm going to leave you with gloomy down south. Where's the sun? Good morning, um, I'm just heading into uh, John Lewis. We're in Leeds today. Um, and I'm just gonna go for a mini facial um, at the Clarence counter. That, um, so I will take you with me.
so I've just finished my facial and my face is so good. I need to go and put a bit of makeup on though because I've literally got nothing on now. Um, and I've put my husband in to go and have one done too. So like he was like, what are we doing? I don't have time for this. He's not into this at all. So I'll be waiting to see what he thinks of it when he comes out. <laughs> just finished at the Ivy, we've had a really lovely lunch. Uh, we had sushi. My husband's not a fan of sushi, but he did like it. And now I'm heading to go to get my hair cut and sort out these roots. Um, I haven't seen my hairdresser for ages, so I can't wait to catch up with him. So I've just had my hair done, I absolutely love it. No more black roots, which is great. I'm um, just gonna pop and do a bit more shopping and then, can you hear me? It's very noisy. Uh, and then I'm gonna head back home and get ready for tonight. We're back and guess what? Look, we've lit the fire because it's basically absolutely freezing, like blowing a massive gale out there and pouring down the rain. I feel really sorry for these friends. Um, the party is supposed to be in the garden. They've got a really lovely garden and obviously it's not going to be, but I hope not we'll freeze and get wet. Um, apparently they've got some sort of marquee, but I feel really sad because the whole point was they wanted to celebrate this garden being so nice and yeah I feel really sorry for them anyway it will be a great night whatever I think there's gonna do they're gonna be doing like a hog roast and there's band and all sorts I need to get ready and I need to decide what to wear I've now added another dress into the equation so I've got four dresses to choose from and I just don't know they're all a bit summery to be honest I'm gonna look like a right idiot and I'm thinking if I am outside, maybe I ought to wear something with long sleeves. So I'm not really sure what to wear. I have though just sorted out a present for them and I'm gonna show you it now. These are all my dresses lined up here. Oh, and I've just bought this for my cousin. So sweet, she's just had a little baby. How cute is that? Got that in John Lewis. I love beautiful things like this. This is the, from the heirloom collection. Uh, in John Lewis. Let me see if I can find the tag. It's just beautiful. Oh, I love all the smocking and the detail. Just stunning. Um, anyway, 
I'm deciding between these and then I think I might throw a green one into the mix, mix, into the mix, sorry, too. I think I'm going to go with this and my red shoes that I got this week. This is my favourite and I do really like these. These are my two top dresses that I've got this summer, Aspiga and Hobbs, and they are just gorgeous. They fit so well. I love them. Right, back to my presents. So I had no idea what to buy this friend. So I have bought her a vase with flowers in it already. Um, she's not very, I want to say arty. She's more academic. She's one of my academic friends. I've got quite a few of those. And I don't know why, because I'm definitely not academic. She always kind of asks advice about things for the home and stuff like that. So I thought this was quite a nice present. And I had a real dilemma of what do you buy somebody? She's got lots of things. I don't want to buy her something just for the sake of it. But I thought this would be really nice in her house. So the best tip I've got is to go to HomeSense to get your faux flowers. I am a massive faux flower fan. Like there's some over there. In fact, look, there's some there, there's some there, there's some there. I have them everywhere. I love faux flowers and I change them up depending on what season it is. Um, so at the moment, I've got lots of peonies over there, hydrangeas, some roses. Uh, it's hydrangeas kind of season at the moment. So I thought these would fit in really well. Plus, they were $2.99 each, which is such a good price. Dunelm do really good faux flowers too. Now, if I was being more organised, what I would have done... I would have bought some really nice faux ones, Neptune, Ochre, I'm trying to think, the Faux Flower Company, the Suffolk Nest, which is those ones over there, or um, We Are Little Buds, those are my favourite. I would have bought some flowers from there and then mixed them in with these ones from Home Sense, and you really cannot tell. Now, I'm hoping this friend will not be able to tell that these are cheaper faux flowers. I think they honestly look pretty good. I've just been walking through town and I bumped into some friends and they were like, oh, wow, are they real? I'm like, no. So I think that, I think they look really good. So I picked up the vase. Um, ideally, when you're having faux flowers, what you want to do is have a vase that's not see-through. However, I couldn't find one in there. And I thought this actually works quite well because you can't see through because it's kind of got this, this kind of look to it. The vase was £7 and then the faux flowers were 2 99 each so we've got one two three four five so stuck a bit of ribbon round which i had i think that makes a really nice present and if someone gave that to me as a present i would be absolutely thrilled with it uh, i think it would look really nice in her house as well so i can't wait to give this to her later on i now need to go and get ready though i have got absolutely no makeup on and i need to go and shave my legs and then i'm going to go in with this eye cream so it's comes like this with a little, um, I don't know, cold thing. So you just squeeze a little bit out and you literally put under here, just do a bit more under here. And then I just kind of work it around. Now I've had quite a lot of cream on because obviously I've been doing my facials this morning, been doing, I had a facial this morning. So I've got quite a nice moisturized skin anyway, but I'm just gonna put it on just so I can show you. And then I just quickly run round and just check it's all in on my face like this. I next go in with this, which is the Healthy Glow Charlotte Tilbury. Back to front, isn't it? It's called the Unisex Healthy Glow. And it comes out in a kind of grey colour. But what I do is I, when you rub it, it kind of turns into a more of a skin colour. Oh, it's so nice. Um, so if I was going to wear no makeup, but I wanted a bit of a sort of nice colour across, then I would wear this just on its own. Um, it's just really nice and dehyd and hydrating, not dehydrating, hydrating is a lovely formula. Don't forget to do your neck. So I've had quite a few questions about my Botox that I had. So you will remember that I had uh, Botox up here. So you can see I'm lifting up my eyebrows now. So I can still lift them, which is a good thing. And you can slightly see lines, but I did have two big lines here, loads of lines coming out of here, three big lines that ran across here. And you can see they're just slightly there. But I have got that movement, which is what I wanted. I didn't want it to be so like, oh, 
and then I had Profilo put into my cheeks. So I had five injections put around here, one, two, three, four, five. And I just feel like it's made me feel a lot more glowy, healthy. And I do notice the difference. I've noticed I've had quite a few compliments recently. Oh, you look well, you look good. And I'm like, oh good. And I hope that people don't realize that I've had treatment done because that's the whole idea. I want it to look as natural as possible. Right, I'm now gonna go in with my concealer. So I tend to put this on first and then I retouch it up. So this is, if I get out of the way, you can see. Charlotte Tilbury, Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. So it comes like this and then I just pop one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'll probably go in over the top. I've got quite dark eyes at the moment. I'm not quite sure why, but I have. I've just bought some new sponges, so I'll just get those out. And I like to blend that with the sponge. What I might also do is wet the sponge. If you wet it and then wring out the water, it helps it to go on a little bit easier. While I'm here, I'm also gonna put on some pumps of my um airbrush floors foundation so i'm actually going to try to go for quite a thick coverage today because i want it to sit on my face so i tend to pump a bit onto my hand like so can you see that and then i then use my brush and just do a bit of a plonk on on all different areas now i've got quite a lot of pigmentation all around this area and this area this is my like, problem bit also got quite red-ish cheeks and face. So I put a layer of this on first and I'm just gonna blend this in and take it all the way down my chin as well because I do not wanna have a big line. I also take it up right up to my ears and I really work this in. really love this foundation so this is quite a thick a thick foundation it's quite matte and i'm actually going to go in with my other foundation over the top so i'll just take this up here and just kind of blend it a bit and then i'm going to go in with my sponge and do those eyes so i'm just going to dab in here i'm just going to look in my mirror i've got a really nice uh, mirror with a light here and i'm just going to blend that in right i've just blended that in so you can see the um, it's quite matte, so obviously I want it to look a lot more dewy, but I will go into that in a minute. So now I'm going to work on my eyes. Um, first of all, I think I will sort out my eye uh, shadow. So I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Here we go. And if you didn't know, there's a little sequence on the back of what steps you can use if you want some advice. So I'm just going to go in with this. It's quite a neutral kind of palette to have. And I'm just going to put it onto it like so. Oh, it's still pouring with rain. I feel really sorry for them. It's really rainy. And then I'm actually going to add a bit of a highlighter underneath here. I probably should have done this before I started. So this is a Delilah. Um, it is called Farewell Cream Concealer. And what I do is I just paint it up here. And paint it up here and then I'm just going to smudge that in so that it doesn't look like that. So sorry back to the eyeshadow so I'm just taking the lightest colour and I'm just putting it the whole way across the eye lid and the same with this one here and then I'm going to take the next colour in and I'm just going to put it a bit onto the corners and right about three quarters of the way across. Um, I'm going a bit dyslexic, I'm being a bit dyspraxic there. I was thinking, which way am I going? This way, here we go. Um, and like so, and I'm just gonna take that color all the way, three quarters of the way across, three quarters of the way across. Then I'm gonna go in my darker color and I'm just going to go into the color hooded bit of my eye, really make sure I've got that nice color on. Really nice color. Like that. Can you see that? When I've got the mascara on, I promise it'll look better. And then I've got this sparkly colour, which I love. I'm just going to put this, and you can use your fingertip for it. You can just put it on the kind of apple of the eye bit there. So when you lift up, you've got a tiny bit of sparkle. It just looks really nice. I learned this from the Charlotte Tilbury girls uh, when I did my event with them. So you can see, there we go. I'm going to sort out these eyebrows now. 
so I haven't had my eyebrows laminated for quite a while and they are just not in the right shape at all. So you have to bear with me on this one. I do love getting them laminated, but I find that sometimes if I do it too often, they go a bit frizzy and a bit curly. They're like almost perm them because I think that's effectively what you're doing. So I'm thinking of getting them microbladed. I'd love to know anyone's thoughts if they've had it done. So I'm just going to comb those up like that. And then I have this, it is called brow soap. And I'm just going to put this, I've got a, this is a toothbrush, which I just use for makeup. And I'm just going to comb it into the eyebrows. Now, this is a really nice product. I think you're supposed to buy the brush that goes with it because it helps, uh, because I feel like this sort of old toothbrush, it's like a bamboo toothbrush thing, uh, which I've always just used for doing this. And I think it's just too big. And I think there's a brush that goes with this in a set, which is better. I find that really helps to hold my eyebrows. Now I have just ordered a new eyebrow product, which again, I was sucked in by TikTok. I need to stop going on there. And it looks better than this. So I will give you some feedback on that when I get it. Um, anyway, there we go for now. So for my eyeliner, I'm going in with the Pillow Talk. This is long and lasting. So I'm just gonna go across the top of my eyes here. And I might actually just take some down here as well. And then I'll probably use my brush just to blend it and make sure it's not like a really harsh line. Just so that it sits there. It's kind of like an aubergine-y kind of colour, this. But I find that it goes with most things. So, because I don't know what I'm wearing, I'm hoping that will be okay. Right, I'm now going to go back into my eyebrows. Again, I've got a Delilah brow line. I really like this one. It's really nice to use. Um, it's quite a thin um, wind up kind of brush. So I just go underneath my brows here and I draw up my line and then I go above and take my line down. And the idea is then that I want to blend it so you can't see the line and it just sits nicely together. Um, so it's really subtle. Um, but the brush at the other end is really nice to use and it just helps brush it all through so that they're a bit more even uh, and the same on the other side. You can really feel like the soap um, working. Let's just get this a bit more. So there we go. I can see that. Right, I'm now going to go back in with more foundation. So I'm going to use my Beautiful Skin Charlotte Tilbury foundation. Again, I do a, either I put it on a pump on my hand or I just go in with a one, two, three, four, five. And then I blend, 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 blend. It's almost like doing a painting, um, but I really want this to sit nicely on top. And because I want my foundation quite thick, this adds as a layer. I just try to do small layers that will sit nicely together. And then I put it up here too, making sure that I really go in to the detail in. Right, now for some contouring and bronzer, I think. Right, I've retouched up the blusher. Um, I'm now going to go, oh, sorry, the tripod's wonky. I'm gonna go in with my eyelash colors. So these are from, what are they called? Lash UK, I think it's called. Um, UK Lash, me being dyslexic, back with the front. So I have hardly any lashes, but you will remember from my last vlog that I have bought like this growing serum to grow them because I'm not getting my eyelash extensions done over the summer and I might actually take a break from it full stop I'm thinking I just feel like it doesn't make my real eyelashes uh feel very good I don't know if that yeah it did kind of work I've just got no lashes it's really unfortunate and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara here we are so I got the Lash UK UK Lash Volumizing Boost Mascara. So 
I quite like this. It's a bit like the Bobbi Brown one. It's quite a wet mascara. You can see I've done one eye. That one's not done. That one's done. I need more up here. And if I'm going out, I always try and do the bottom as well. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh. 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 Obviously, don't do this. So, one eye done, one eye not done. So, got two eyes done now eyebrows sort of done going to get in with my lip liner I always if I remember try oh my gosh try and do lip liner I feel it really helps uh, my lipstick stay on this is um, a Delilah one but I have got the pillow talk one somewhere but I need to sharpen it and that is really nice I can't even like just that look, but I do need to, some sort of lip gloss. Do you know what? I don't know where any of my lip glosses are. I feel like my daughters have been stealing stuff. I'll just find some random lipstick. Two more steps and then we're done. I've got here some concealer for under my eyes. Remember I said I'd go back in. This is a really nice Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know what it's called. This is just fair pale. I just use my finger. I probably shouldn't do that. And I just add a little bit of highlight here because I just want this area to be really nice and light. Might just touch it up with my sponge a bit. Just take that in there. And I'll just go on the other side. And then the last step is my finishing spray. And I'm just going to show you my finishing spray. So which is here. It's called, oh gosh, the airbrush airbrush flawless setting spray so again all you do is spray it like this really i'll do it for you it smells lovely oh and i'm gonna add some perfume um so you might have seen these things which are just great my sister saw this the other day she was like i'm gonna nip this um so it's a joe loves pen in fact i'm gonna take it with me it's like a gel and then i just put it on here and here Right, I'll sort my hair out and then I need to go and work out what I'm wearing and I've probably got about 10 minutes to do that in because um, we're getting a lift with some friends. Um, there we go. That is the kind of finished look and I'll go and put my dress on to show you. So really tend to not wear black. I'm more of a blue girl, but because it's got the black in it, I'm going to have to wear it. What's going on with this? I'm going to have to pull this top down further. Um, so I've just pulled up the sleeves. I'm probably just going to wear this to get there and then I probably will take it off, hopefully, if it's warm enough. But I've rolled up the sleeves. I've got my nice bracelets on. I've got my necklace on. And this is the Balkan blazer. Really useful to have. So I've got a really lovely blue Bowden uh, blazer and I have this black Balkan one. I think that's how you say it, Balkan? That I have in my wardrobe that I just use for situations like this. Um, so I'm going to take this with me and hopefully take it off when I get there. I have a, my, a black bag. This is my um, Fairfax and Favour Windsor bag. Can I do up the clasp? Let me show you. Here we go. This is one of my favourite bags. It's a little black bag. It's just all you need to go out. It's got the strap as well. Uh, it's got all the lovely branding that Fairfax and Favour do. Really kind of velvety kind of feel here and then the tassels on the front which look very squashed but they are lovely um it's just the right size to take out with you so i'm going to be taking that on my shoulder like so and then i've got my lovely necklace this is my hydrangea race necklace it's nice cream london it's called and i really wanted to get the earrings to match um anyway hopefully Nobody else will be wearing this dress. I just said to my husband, maybe I should bring a backup dress. I hate going to parties or things when you're wearing a new dress because you're thinking somebody could be there wearing this dress. And that is my biggest nightmare. Um, anyway, so I'm ready to go. I've got my blazer, I've got my dress. Absolutely love this dress. Um, so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to walk in these shoes all night or just take them off. 
anyway i will try and video bits but i tend not to video when i go out to um parties and things which obviously aren't anything to do with social media and none of these friends probably even know what social media is so i probably won't be recording much anyway i will see you tomorrow hopefully not too hungover so I'm going to be wearing my wedges. So these are from phase eight. I have been wearing them pretty much all summer. They're quite a nice lowish heel, really comfy. So I'll be wearing that. I've got my denim jacket with me. This is the dark denim one from Hobbs. And I, again, have worn this all summer. It's been such a good piece of clothing to wear this. Well, I was going to say this summer, but it feels like autumn. Although there is blue sky and I've decided to just wear my summer dress, even if it is going to rain. I've also got with me uh, my Fairfax and Favour bag. I'm loving it. I really am. It's really nice size so I can get my big diary in. Uh, we're going to sit and go through dates uh, when my husband's on call and work out some holidays and Christmas and things like that. We never have time like this ever um so i'm gonna make sure we really crack through the to-do list and work through all the diary up till christmas so we've got a plan of what's going on but anyway just want to show you my lovely bag i love it it's really nice so i will take you with me for lunch take you into york and you can see what the uh, sunday roast is like there
Good evening, we're back. Um, we've had the most amazing uh, day. It's been lovely. We very rarely do that, have time on our own, with no children around and no distractions. So it's really nice. I'm so grateful to my parents uh, for looking after my children. It's amazing. Um, anyway, the roast was so good. Really recommend uh, Sunday roast there if you are a Sunday roast fan like me. Uh, this evening, I'm going to be writing out my to-do list for the rest of the week and working out what I need to do. We've got a busy week next week. Uh, I also need to start getting ready for school. Um, so I think we're going to sit and chill and watch a film and uh, write to-do lists. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all back next week for another vlog. Thank you.